Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Naila Jasmine. And for today's video, we have a room makeover. So I'm going to be making over my fiance's niece's room. They were out of town the weekend that I did the makeover, so I had about two days to complete the makeover. The room that she's in is actually a new build, so everything was already painted when I went in there, which was a good thing. That meant that I had more time to just build the furniture, set everything, and also decorate. So I just went ahead and asked her to go on Pinterest and show me pictures that she really wanted as inspiration. And the first thing I want to do is just run through the mood board with you guys. Alright guys, so this is the mood board and I use Canva. I like using Canva for projects like this. So let me run through the color scheme. So like I mentioned, her room has two accent walls and this is the color from her accent walls. Well, I tried my best to make it as similar as I could to her actual color in her room so this would be essentially the color of her two accent walls then the next color we have is gray and then we have gray here because she really wanted a gray rug so that is two of our main colors in the room so that meant that I have to pick a color that really complemented both the pastel yellow the gray and also the white in all of the furniture as you can see this is her bed and it's going to stay the same and it is white and I think it really suits the room really well. And then the last color we have is black. And I chose black for all of the accent items in the room. Um, as you guys can see, we have a couple here in the mood board. And yeah, this is the overall mood board. I wanted to show you guys how my mood boards look like. I usually always incorporate uh, the color scheme, a couple of furniture pieces I'm going to use in the room, and some inspirational pictures. So hope this helped to give you guys an idea of how the room is going to look like. And yeah, guys, this is the mood board. So yeah, guys, that is the mood board. Just wanted to run through the colors and then the different furniture and pieces like that that we're going to be using for the room. Now that you guys have an idea of the mood board, let's go ahead and take a look at how the room looked before. So it is day one of this makeover. I apologize because I don't have an, like, an official intro to our first day of this makeover. But here I am starting my first day by clearing everything out of the room. And what I mean by clearing everything out of the room, I mean everything. Everything's going to go out. I like to take out all of the furniture. But in this case, we're going to keep the bed because we're going to stay with the same bed. So I'm just going to leave it there because it doesn't make sense for us to take it out and then bring it back in. So I'm also going to leave all of her clothes in her closet because she has too many clothes. So I don't have anywhere to put them, so they're going to stay there. And yeah, guys, I'm just going to continue to clear out the room. Alright guys, so we just finished clearing out the room. Let me show you guys how it looks in here. So we took all of the furniture that was here. I'll replace the curtains later on, but we took everything that was here. Like the bed is staying, like I said. And then... Her clothes, I'm going to leave them there because I have new hangers for her. I got her all uh, black hangers so they can all match. So I'll be replacing all of those, but I just wanted the clothes to just stay there because I don't really have anywhere else to put them. And we also emptied out the shelves. Alright guys, so now that we have cleared out everything out of the room and we just left the bed in here, I'm going to go ahead and sweep, mop, and I also took the time to wipe down all of her built-in shelves. And I also cleaned the bed just to make sure that we are working with a nice clean room before we bring everything in. Okay guys, so the next thing that I did was to make the bed. And while I'm in here making the bed, Brent is actually in the living room because he was so kind to help me build all of the furniture. So he's out there building that while I'm in here making the bed. I wanted to let you guys know that the comforter is from the Room Essentials collection at Target. And then the sheets are from Ross. I suggest picking up your sheets from Ross. They have great brands and at really good prices. I'll link everything down below, guys, as much things as I could. I'll link them below just in case you guys are wondering what I use in the room. They'll all be down in the description box, so check that out. Alright, guys, so I just finished the bed. But I just realized that she doesn't have pillows. So I have to go to Target, get pillows, get more of these gray... Um, bins or baskets to organize the shelf. So let's go to Target and see if we can find the stuff that we need. Okay guys, we're at Target and then there's a Ross next door so I think we're gonna stop by there too because we need some other stuff. Okay, I'll check with you guys when we're inside. Okay, they do have them but they only have these. Okay. They only have two of them. I found another one. Here you go. Take it. 
I need one more. Do you see another one? Yeah, over there. Where? Why would you do that to me? I wonder if this is the same pillow cases as, like the color, if it's the same as, oh, these are king. It, they actually have it over there, so let's take this and see if it's the same. Okay guys, so this is the comforter I got her, and I think it's the same color, because it's the same brand. I'm gonna get these just in case I need them. All right guys, we just left Target, and then Ross is right next door, so we're gonna go in there. Um, it's actually pretty late, what time is it? 7.41. 7.41, we're gonna go in here really quickly, go back, and hopefully finish. By nine. All right, guys. So we're inside. Ross trying to figure out which um, pillows to get her. I need an all-white pillow because if I do go with the white pillow co covers, I don't want it to. I don't want like this to show. You know what I mean? So is that one? That one's a comfortable one. Yeah. I also want to get her another decorative pillow. I'm gonna choose a pillow as well. So I'm gonna look through these and see which one I'm gonna take. I've been looking for something like soft like this. So. All right, guys, so we are back. So I'm gonna show you guys everything we picked up. So I got a set of white fluffy pillows from Ross for $16.99. It comes with two. And then a set of two pillows also from Ross for how much were these? These were $12.99. And then I picked this up from Target. And then more of the gray bins. So I'll show you guys later. I am going to go ahead and use these pink ones instead of the white ones and then use these decorative pillows instead. I'm going to go ahead and do that and finish off the bed. Alright guys, so I just finished styling the bed. So guys, this is the bed. Very simple. A tip for you guys. If you guys have a type of bed like this where you can see your comforter, go ahead and just pull at it all the way down until you can't see the mattress. So I made sure I did that all the way and it just looks nice and clean. Now we're going to go ahead and organize the shelf. I picked up more of these gray bins or baskets. So I'm going to bring those out and just start organizing well, everything. Guys, I'm actually going to bring in the desk because... I have also things to organize inside of her desk. So I'm going to go ahead and have Brandon help me bring in the desk, organize the desk, and then whatever is doesn't fit there or doesn't go there, I can put in these shelves. So let's go ahead and bring in the desk. Alright guys, so we just brought in the desk. Shout out to Brandon for building this. I'm gonna go ahead and organize the store and then move on to the shelf. So let's go ahead and organize this. the next day i had to go home earlier yesterday so i didn't finish everything we stopped by target before coming here so i want to show you guys everything that i got i got a um hold on let me show you guys so this is what i picked up today i picked up a hook rack because she has um like belts and bags and backpacks and stuff like that so i think this would be nice then i got two more of these um uh, gray baskets and then a little floral because i don't know if i'm going to have enough like decorative pieces uh, to decorate the room. So I just picked this one up for five dollars. Now that I have these storage uh, Baskets, I want to finish off doing this. I started it last night and I'm almost done Okay guys, so my plan originally was to finish organizing all of the gray baskets that you see here in the built-in shelf But instead I just decided to start on the closet. So I don't know if you guys saw in the previous class, but she has um, Hangers of all different sorts of colors. So I decided to get her uh, these black velvet hangers and make them all the same color. I got two of the 50 packs that are sold at Costco. And because she doesn't have closet doors, I really wanted her closet to look as cohesive as it could be. I know they are planning in the future to put some closet doors. So in the meantime, I just thought that this could be a quick solution to just helping her closet look uh, nice and organized. I do 
think that the closet doors are going to make such a big difference because she won't be able to see her clothes and everything's just going to be nice and clean. Uh, so yeah, here I am just switching all of the colorful hangers to these nice black hangers and then organizing them by color and by style back into her closet. ahead and put down the rug so that we can put the curtain so let me bring in the rug all right guys so ideally i would have put the rug before i put all of the furniture inside the room but i left the rug at the house yesterday so i had to bring it in this morning so we're just gonna have to work with it i'm gonna bring brandon in so he can help me uh lift up the bed so I can put the rug underneath it. Alright guys so we just brought in the rug. This one is from Ross and she really wanted like a gray rug and then now we're gonna take off the current and replace it with these new current panels. I got these at Ikea. So yeah, I got her white curtain so it can be really nice and airy in here and then I got a black curtain rod from Walmart. I actually picked some up for myself as well. I really I haven't tried these but I really like the way they look. They look really modern and sleek. So Okay, so now we're gonna move into the nightstand. I got this nightstand from Target. I liked it because it had a drawer, so she wanted storage. Uh, I also liked it because it has a little compartment down in the middle. I got, here, let me show you guys. So I have this lamp that I also picked up from Target a couple of months ago. I like that it was black. Then she already had a clock here, so I kept it. And I'm gonna put it on the nightstand. And then I picked these up. They were only a dollar at the dollar spot at Target. I think I'm gonna do this one here in a frame I have an Ikea frame and I think I'm gonna put it on that frame and then hang it somewhere here or I don't know if I should hang it up on top of the bed but I have this one that says good vibes only and this one says do you I'm putting it here what do you guys think I don't know if that looks good and then putting the poster here wait sorry guys you guys can't even see that but um yeah so I really do like the poster with the wooden frame. I think that looks really nice. I just don't know if I want to put it here or if I put it on top of the bed. Because um, those are the only two areas where I can put it in. But I think that looks good. So I just finished um, putting the poster in the frame. I had to tape it down a little bit because the poster is a little bit too small for the frame. I tried my best to even it out. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to hang it up on top of the nightstand. So I really like the way it looks. And now I'm going to show you guys what Brandon was doing while I was um, working on the nightstand. So he went ahead and put these shelves up for us on the wall. I have four shelves. And I put these shelves here because essentially this area is going to be her vanity area. So I wanted her to have more storage um, in case she ever wants to put like makeup and like perfumes and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and style this shelf and also style that little... Um, shelf down here in the nightstand as well
So you guys might notice that I don't have a vanity mirror in here and that's because her parents actually ordered one for her a couple weeks ago but it was not the right measurements. Uh, so they had to exchange it or they're going to return it and get a new one for her. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this and then when they find the right one for the space they can go ahead and just add it. <laughs> Say hi. You want to say hi? Alright guys, so I'm done finally organizing her closet and also the shelves. So I put her hamper on this side just for now because tomorrow I'm going to have to go wake up early and head to Home Goods and see if I can find a mirror to fit right here. She really wants a large wide mirror and the mirror is going to go here just because it's the only space in the room where it will fit. Uh, so for now, we're going to keep the hamper there until we figure out where we can put it. Then I got her a shoe organizer down here. I know she's not going to be able to put anything on top but at least she has the middle shelf and she can also put some shoes at the bottom. She also has another shoe organizer that goes underneath the bed so let me show you guys. She already had this. So I went ahead and put a couple of shoes in here and put them down here under her bed. And then when she comes back from her trip, she can come and organize her shoes however she wants to. Now let's move on to the shelf that took me like two whole days to complete just because I didn't have enough um, storage baskets. But I love these baskets. Alright, so I put her arts and crafts stuff up there. All of her dog, um, extra dog pads. You know those blue pads for your dogs? So I put those up there. And then here I have all of her shorts. And then here I have all of her dog stuff like extra bags, leashes, and stuff like that. Um, so all of her dog stuff are here so that she can easily access them. But I also put some extra of those blue pads in here. And I also hit some back here. Um, the baskets tied them really well. So I put that all there. And here, PJs. Um, and then like socks and stuff like that you know her undergarments are all down in these baskets but yeah guys I really like the way it looks I like that I chose to go with all the same baskets all throughout the shelf except here at the bottom I ended up putting this bigger one here just because it's a little taller down here and I wanted to make sure that you don't see her undergarments or any of that and then I need a little basket to fit in this little area so I have this white one I put all of her like extra like lint rollers and like shoe stuff alright guys so it is the next day we went to Ikea and we picked up this mirror up this is the I don't remember the name of the uh, mirror but I'll make sure to link it down below for you guys alright guys so we are done with the room and I'm actually really nervous or I was really nervous to show her the room I really thought she was not going to like it so let's take a look at the after and see how the room ended up looking So that was the room. That was the transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe because next week I have a kitchen makeover for you guys. Finally, I know. I'm working on editing that for you guys. So it should be up next week. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I post that video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more daily content. Have a good and wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.